Hi. So tonight I left my job mid shift due to a confrontation with a narcissist coworker and I quit the job. I deleted the group chat app. I deleted my account. I took off the app for deliveries from my job, my old job. And so I'm officially free again and it's just another chapter it's a new chapter so may the lord give me the power to speak to you guys clearly and thoroughly so i have a narcissist in my old job a female who has a boyfriend that works there as well and i could tell that she was a narc just due to how her energy is how she acts how she's always observing me, especially when the glow of um, the Lord has come upon me more, how she's observed me, how there is the sense of jealousy from her, how she always stares at me. And it's an admiration, but also hate. Narcissists tend to love and hate the chosen ones. It's like they admire you and they think you're like, I guess, cute, all that admirable, but at the same time, they hate you and they want you to like suffer just like them because they can't stand to see people that are that are feeling above and beyond you know feeling good about themselves in their lives because they just feel good so the narcissist was not clocked in for her shift she just comes because she drops her boyfriend off and she usually stays with her boyfriend you know and honestly the reason why she stays in the job is because if you know narcissists, you know that they cannot deal with being alone. They they have severe issues when it comes to just um, dependency. So they always need to be dependent on someone for energy, attention, affection, etc. So they constantly just are around people and if they're alone they have to figure out any way to be by them to be around somebody because once they're by themselves then their thoughts start to come up and you know the things that they avoid and sweep under um the rug whatever starts to surface that's when they have to find like a new guy to hit up or a new girl to hang out with be friends like just anybody bro but yeah she just um she's always at the job and she has a strong attitude you know what i'm saying some so little puerto rican girl just very strong masculine attitude you know what i'm saying and like she's not like super pretty but she's not ugly she's at least like attractive in a way you know what i'm saying where she's not fat whatever she like looks decent but the thing is bro is that she just has a very nasty attitude and um i believe that's just due to the fact that she's hurt she's been traumatized whatever happened to her and her life happened but the fact that she has this nasty attitude and the way she talks is very just rude plain rude just plain rude plain demoralizing plain just like it makes you like belittling like the way you know when you know when people talk to you and they like command you to do something in a way where it's like you're you're like stupid or less than that's the way um the tone of voice is for this um this girl because we're not gonna call her a woman because there's a i'm telling you guys there's don't believe that these girls are women they're not women there's a difference between women and girls it's easy to tell between a woman and a girl but yeah with this girl bro she was just um she just kept on like trying to correct me on things while i was doing my work and i was just listening to her because i was like me i'm not emotional i don't get emotional i don't tend to like snap i don't tend to you know what i'm saying and then something happened where she made a mistake and she wouldn't hold herself accountable when literally it was showing on the paper the mistake so she started to like just speak out and start being like you don't know like what you're talking about you're you're effing every you're gonna f everything up you're just effing everything up like look at the receipt stop like and you know what i'm saying just talking super disrespectful like very disrespectful like i'm telling you i'm not gonna lie bro if it was if it was not socially ex if it was if it was not socially um acceptable to slap a woman i would slap this girl bro like right across her face I'll pimp slap her, bro. I will slap this girl, bro. 
and I make her feel it. I'm like, I'm telling you, bro, I really would slap this bitch, bro, for disrespecting me the way she did, bro. I don't care. Y'all can call me a woman beater, but I'm telling you, man, it just takes a one good slap. Sometimes just for you to listen, just one time, it takes you one good slap. Just one good slap. Sometimes you just need to wake up real quick. Just realize who the fuck you're talking to. Lord, forgive my language, Lord. I'm not going to get emotional. But like I said, bro, she was just disrespecting me. And then she told me the thing that like that pissed me off was when she told me get out of the oven, like get out of the um, place where we do the kitchen and all that. And so I just, I was quiet. I literally took off the apron, just put it on. She did her thing. She was doing it. Mind you, she's not even clocked in. I let her work for a bit. Her boyfriend was like jokingly coming up to me. And I was like, bro, I literally just said, why is your girlfriend so rude? Like I was just staring at, I was staring at the girl, bro. I was staring at the narcissist. Her name is Kiana. Fuck that bitch. Kiana at Springfield Dominoes. Fuck that bitch. But listen, bro, li <laughs> I really said her name. Hey, God, forgive me, man, but I got to say it, bro. Hey, God, I love you, but I'm about to say it. Hey, fuck that bitch on God, bro. So listen. So I'm on the sideline after now. I'm just waiting for a delivery to pop up now because she's in the oven. And I'm just telling her boyfriend, bro, like, who broke her before you? Like, before she met you, who broke her, bro? And that's what it was started. That's how it started, kind of, in a way. Because I was just like, who broke her, bro? Because the way she acts, the way she talks, she's being really disrespectful, blah, 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 blah. And she's acting like a bitch. And when I said that, bro, that's when shit got real because I just had enough. And I just started once because, bro, I'm telling you, I'm the type of person where I start off with a joke. I start off with like how I said, oh, bro, who broke this girl? Is she OK? And then once I continue with that joke, I start to get serious because now I'm not playing, bro, because now it's really starting to infuriate me how this person is treating me, bro. I don't deserve to be treated that way and I don't tolerate it. And if you hire people that, at, at the job that I work at, that I worked at, if you're going to hire people that treat people disrespectfully, please tell me on the day that we're doing the, the interview or the the whatever it's called where we're all signing a bunch of stuff please tell me if there's anybody disrespectful that that you find because i will make sure that don't put me in work with them do not put me with anybody that is disrespectful because if i get one glimpse of disrespect i'm going to be honest and i'm going to bring it up bro and i'm going to bring it up right into the face of the person like i did today bro like I did today. Niggas is going crazy, bro, because I called a girl a bitch at work. I will say it again, bro. Y'all are worried about me saying calling about I'm damn near ready to slap a motherfucker, bro. I'm ready to slap this bitch, bro. On God backhand her, bro. Leave that, leave a print on her face. So that next time she ever wants to talk to a man and disrespect her, she's gonna realize it's gonna come with consequences. And yes, yeah, Superman could be over there to save you, but if he's ready to die about you, then I hope so, bro. And that's why I tell these men, bro. That's why I tell these men, y'all need to stop messing with girls that do not respect men, like genuinely respect men. Because you need to understand that narcissists, narcissistic girls, bro, when they see a man of God, when they see a chosen one that's a man, bro, it triggers them so bad because they want to be like that. They want to be like a man. They want to have that control. But the control that they crave for is the control of things of this world, such as people, materialistic items etc our control that the chosen ones have that us men have men of god is control over ourselves we have control over the flesh these people get it misguided they think that just because we have control over our flesh that means that we're just perfect and that our life is just amazing so they just want to be all jealous envious towards us and then they want to find any way to hurt us and this is what the narcissist at at my old job just did to me today bro she and i remember like i I, I took off my I, I took off the hat, went back into my car, took off my shirt, put on my regular shirt, whatever, came back, gave him the money. But I told that girl, I hope you're happy. Like I told her, bro, I hope you're happy that you made me finally break. I hope that you're happy that you got that you that you got energy from me. I hope you're happy. I hope you're satisfied. I literally told her that because I know what these these low level people do. And it's like, I'd rather quit the job and leave because I know that people like them need the job more than me. Realistically, these people literally have nothing. They don't have no hope. They don't have no faith so they can have the money, bro. I know that that's going to get them through whatever they're going through and they could also afford to purchase their cigarettes, right? Yeah, I'm coming at them like, hey, I'm just coming at them real quick. I don't, you know what I'm saying? But 
like I said, guys, like, so after that, I left, you know, I basically quit. I'm not going back to that job. I do not care. I will literally, I'm about to throw the hat and the shirt away, bro. Watch probably tomorrow, bro. And then it's just back to um, figuring out what's next. But I'm not worried. As long as I have God by my side, I know that I'm on the right path. And part of me, bro, I'm so open-minded real quick to the point where, like, even when I was leaving, bro, part of me, like, had this feeling of, like, this is meant to be, bro. Like, I don't really have that much feeling. I don't have a feeling of, like, regret or anything. Like, of course, the ego at first, for a little while, I was like, oh, you should swallow your pride and just go back and just work. But I was just like, nah, bro. Because I have to, re like, bro, this is, a, this is a respect thing. This is something that, this is just something, this is, bro. If I have to be the person to show other men, especially at my job, that as a man, you should tolerate no disrespect from anybody and you're willing to leave your job and you're willing to uh, probably suffer a little bit financially. If I'm willing to be the person that has to be the one to be that sacrifice and quit to show these guys to that, hey, don't let no woman disrespect you in any job the way these women think they can just talk to people. Like, no, I will be that way. And I'm telling you, y'all women need to stop with me, bro. Like, I'm telling you, y'all narcissistic women, please, bro. Like, I'm telling you, please leave me alone, bro. Like, I, I just promise you, because I'm really not playing games. I'm not scared to tell you straight up to your face that you have the spirit of narcissism. And I could see through you. I could see, you, like, your spirit. And it's, it's, it's low. It's dark. I am not scared to be that person, bro. But I'm just telling any woman, this is just a call to the world right now. A PSA any woman that tries to play with me any woman that tries to that tries to get with me that tries to you know what i'm saying just act out whether it's in the future or whatever whether it's in the job place or workplace or whatever do not act like just because you're a woman that you will not be treated with the same results that i would treat a man bro i might not i might not hit you because i'm not trying to go to jail i'm not trying to crash out but best believe bro if you play with me you're gonna get that fire too and even if i don't give you that fire best believe believe God's coming for you because you do not mess with the children of God. You do not mess with somebody who literally has no negativity towards anybody. Like I come into work, bro, with no negative energy. I come in just focused on myself, focused on, all right, let's work good today. Let's get this over with so that we can continue to do what's next in my life. Because my life is not just my job, but these people, their life is their, is their job, bro. That's why they're mad when they see that you have a life, bro. When they can when they can sense that you're the type of person that has way more things to do than just be at this job. They get jealous, bro, because these people literally wake up, do nothing, and then they just go to work and go to bed. While you, you actually do stuff. You're actually active. You actually live a life, bro. But yeah, the narcissist girl, she may have thought this hurt me, but really it's a blessing in disguise and I feel it. Like that's the that's the funnest things too. It's like these narcissists really think that they like that they bring you down when they literally just catapult you even higher. They literally like I feel after the fast I just had that my vibration is just too high for that place. So now I'm being sent somewhere else and unfortunately it had to be in a way where I ended up also like breaking a bit where I, was, I cussed out this girl my voice was raised up i wasn't screaming like i'm trying to kill her but my voice was raised up because i'm not playing bro like when that spirit of god comes out in me bro like it's no joke bro even the her boyfriend bro when she said hey bro chill that's my girl like i saw the fear in his eyes like he didn't want to fight me bro and i wasn't gonna fight him but you just know like damn bro why this, why this bitch get me into this now? You feel me? And it's just unfortunate. Sometimes, like, people just got to, they got to go through it, man. Sometimes people, they got to go through multiple relationships with narcissists until they get it right. And I'm telling you, any job with a narcissist, bro, any job with anyone that seems narcissistic, I'm dipping, bro. Dipping, bro. I don't care if I have to, bro. I'm at this point, bro. I could fast. Fuck it. If I got to go homeless, I'll be fasting, bro. I don't care. I really don't, bro. I promise you, like, I'm going to get what I want. And this is just another step to the levels, bro. This is just another level up, you know? The only thing that I could say is also, if you guys go through this, because trust me, I was pissed off, bro. I was really upset. Like, I had a lot of um, anger in me, and it was because of this woman, bro. Like, I, I didn't expect to get that mad, but I just... I low-key blew up because I have a lot of energy, bro. So if I get ticked off, it's not going to be like someone who doesn't have that much energy getting mad. We're like, stop it. It's going to be a fucking explosion, bro. 
and people are gonna feel it and then they're gonna feel the after effect once I'm gone. And I'm telling you, that store is not gonna be cool now. That store is just gonna have just like, just the same type. Like, bro, I was the life of that store and I didn't even do anything, bro. I just have life. Because when you, when you have life force energy, bro, you're the life of stuff. You're the life of things. Once you leave, there's really no life inside the store. It's just a bunch of people with low energy. Once you're, but that's the great part about, ha see, this is, a, that. why do you guys think that I believe, like, things happen for a reason, but that's why, bro, like, once I left, like, I don't know, it's just, when I, when I went into that job, bro, like, these people just end up leeching, like, the more light you have, the more they want to talk to you, the more they want to joke around with you, try to make fun of you, do all these things, bro, and I'm just glad that, like, I overcame that, and now it's the next stage, because literally, like, bro, You've literally seen me, bro. This is the most jobs I've had in probably, like, two. It's been, like, three, bro, four. Like, you feel me? But that's just how this is a chosen one. Like, y'all be talking the chosen one this, chosen one that. Oh, chosen ones can't keep a job. Oh, chosen ones and narcissists in the job. Like, bro, I really live this, bro. Like, this isn't just no YouTube. Oh, you're chosen this, blah, blah. Like, I live this, bro, and I'm showing you, bro. You feel me? But I'm gonna just, I'm not worried, bro. Like, it's all just a story, too. I can't get too caught up in it because even with um, the narcissist like getting me upset and like having me rage out a bit like that um that um awakened my ego that's really what happened too and realistically part of me wishes that I um I don't have regrets but part of me is like damn maybe I could have just um walked o walked out of the store calmly and just ignored her and just be like yeah I'm done and just walked out calmly that would have been nice too that would have been pretty badass but I'm still proud of the way I stuck up for myself and I'm still proud that I just you know that because bro it, it really takes a certain threshold like I'm not the type to get mad easily all right I'm really chill I'm really positive I'm loving bro I have the holy spirit when someone has the holy spirit bro you don't like they're not going to be out here looking for any issues with nobody bro not even a fucking animal or bug so if you're some bro you have to be someone of such a dark and low vibration bro of just the like you know, such nasty energy to even get someone of the chosen like mad bro because when you do that you're really getting you're really getting the most high angry like once you get the most high angry it's like bro you must be someone that's just completely messed up right now you feel me but all I can tell you guys too is that how I am recovered from just being angry after the interaction was all right so I went home I left my phone inside the crib Deleting Instagram, I'm deleting Instagram. I had a DM from one of my coworkers who was like, bro, you're in the total right. Like, I'm, I'll defend your name, but I just read it and just did not reply. And I literally just deleted, like, my photos and my header because, like, I'm not using Instagram. I deleted it. I'm done. I'm going ghost again, bro. Like, I'm just going back to ghosts. I don't care. I don't want, no, like I said, I don't want friends. I don't want relationships. I'd rather just be by myself, bro. I really don't care no more. So... I'm just going ghost, bro. I'm really going ghost, and I'm just like, you know what I'm saying? If you see me in person, you see me in person. That's how it is for anyone that's on Instagram in my area. But, um, yeah, bro, it's just a new chapter. But, oh, yeah, like I said, so, yeah, I deleted Instagram, and then after that, I um went out to... I was going to go near some water, go towards a lake, but instead, there was a basketball hoop near the lake that I originally was going to see. So I just played basketball a bit and I started skateboarding and I'm getting better, bro, at skating, bro. Like, it's funny how, like, out of nowhere, I'm just getting better now. I just leave the, I leave my job and now I just got plus, plus five better at skate, skating now, All right, But, but yeah, man, like, I did that and I felt good. My vibration started to rise again from anger because I'm moving. I'm just in the moment. I'm having fun. I'm releasing energy. I'm exercising, exercising out the demons. That's why it's good to to um, exercise and, you know, work out because you're releasing the, um, the negative, the negativity, the negativity. And um, so, yeah, I did that for a while. And then come inside the crib. I go back home. And now recently I get everything situated and now I took a cold shower of course even though I took one right after the gym before work but since I was ba playing basketball and skating I was like screw it like I'm gonna take a cold shower because I know this is gonna make me feel way better and it's just gonna you know so I did that and now 
I got prepared and now I'm here. But the moral of this is just to tell you after you have a narcissistic encounter, after you have um, basically a mini spiritual war with these people, whether it's at work or whatever, <laughs> these people's anger and all that nastiness will rub onto you. Like I said in my previous video, the, the anger, the fear, all that. So you got to get all that stuff out of your system by raising your vibration quick and just taking care of yourself. Do things that make you feel good. And if you don't know what makes you feel good, then you have some, you have some soul searching to do. You have some, some, some self analyzation to do. You feel me? This is why it's good to have a good um, knowledge of self. This is why it's good to have, you know, because when you're going through things, you know, how to, you, you need to know how to bring yourself back up so that you feel better. And that's why now, like, I feel good. My um, time to eat is coming soon in 30 minutes. So that's something to be um, very grateful and blessed for. And I'm just happy with life. I had a great day today. Otherwise, I vacuumed my car you know got all the little weed nugs out and all that nastiness and all the um pollen from this um spring season that's been happening and um donated some some clothes and socks and all these stuff to um some church and then yeah just other stuff bro but i'm just happy that i'm staying alive i'm working out i'm continuing to do what i must and i'm continuing to grow I don't know where I'm going next, bro, but all I know is that I definitely feel the Lord is going to guide me, and I definitely feel and believe that everything is always going to work out fine, no matter what. And even though the narcissist did what she did, at the same time, I can honestly say that I thank her, and I love her because I love myself, and... I see through the the mask like I, she's just another hurt little girl, bro. Like, yeah, you're yeah, you're going to get me to cuss at you and make me want to slap you. But at the same time, I understand you. I know you. I am you. So, yes, like you can you can try to be a stupid little girl and try to manipulate me or try to um get me to react in an angry way so that i can lose energy and you can feel high and high about yourself because they just want to feel like they matter and when you um see the thing about the narcissist is they really look up to you bro like even this girl bro she's older than me but she looks up to me bro like i can just tell by the way she stares at me like it's like she's a fan bro but she's a fan that's like my biggest fan but she's like the crazy big fans bro you know those you know how celebrities have fans bro that are crazy that low-key want to kill them <laughs> that's what she's like bro weird though so like bro i'm telling you these people are so weird but um so yeah bro they just look up to you in a way so it's like i don't know it's like bro even though like me and this girl like had that type of encounter i can tell that even though she pissed me off and shit she still respects me bro because she knows that i won't tolerate her shit unlike her boyfriend that's always gonna be there for her or some co-worker that will just be quiet when she yells at them she knows that i don't i don't play that shit you feel me? And that's just how it is. Like, even after when I was talking my shit to her, she was smiling a bit. Yes, because she got she got my attention. Now, yes, now Charles actually knows who you are. And now Charles is talking about you. You're getting your 15 minutes of fame. You know what I'm saying? But, like, after this, it's over. You're gone. You're, like, it's on to the next thing for Charles. Quote, unquote, Charles. You feel me? It's on to the next thing, bruh. You're just another learning experience for myself and that's it your life is going to be the same thing you're the highlight of your month is going to be the fact that i even like argued with you that should be your highlight of it because bro i'm telling you these people narcissists lives are so boring bro even the argument bro will have them feeling like yeah my life is so lit bro i feel yeah i was just i argued with him yeah i called him a bitch too yeah he called me one by, you know what I'm saying, bro? And the thing is, these people are dumb because they end up exposing themselves because they can't, they can't hold back their temptation to fuck with the chosen ones. When narcissists see chosen ones, bro, it's like they are fiends, bro. They have an itch. They start itching. They want your energy so bad. So now they start, they start trying to find ways to poke at you and trying to find ways to, to like nitpick at you and all that because they just want you they want to matter to you bro they want you to think about them bro like even right now this girl just wants her 
her like just her to be in my head bro that's the only reason why they do this why do you think there's the quote of term mind games but you must realize like when you're a chosen one when you're someone like even myself none of that matters bro that's all just ego so even though of course i'm talking about that i know this is all just egotistical bro i know that this is all over it's on to the next thing the next thing after this is going to be food and then going to be the next chapter of life because now guess what we're on to a new thing i finished with that part and now it's on to the next and we'll see what only happens don't mind my durag this is the durag i'm using to go to bed since it has a little hole but yeah man i can't complain bro i can never complain stuff happens you have arguments with people you get over it you can't hate the person you know you can only learn from what happened you feel me i came out today with the hopes of not swearing as much but as soon as i go into that job of course man of course i start man fuck you bitch all that stuff you feel me but it is what it is bro it's menya and all i can say is that always put yourself first no job is more important than you nobody's more important than you no nothing is more important than you you are the only thing that matters remember that Never let the narcissist defeat you. You will always win. Everything is a learning lesson. The narcissist is here to actually help you grow. But if you remain a slave to them, if you remain scared to stand up for yourself and call somebody a bitch if you have to and say the truth, then you will forever be stuck in the cycle of abuse and just being pulled like a puppet, just like the rest of them. I stand for something, I stand for God, and through the grace of God, I am willing to die for what I believe in. So with that being said, like I said, any man, woman, child that wants to play with me as though I'm a pussy just because I'm a very nice young man, I'm a very well-spoken, articulate man, just because that, you guys want to act like I'm some type of bitch, pussy, we'll see about that. Do not play with me because I have no tolerance. I'm just being honest. I don't want no friends. I don't want no family. I don't want no relationships. All I want and all I will ever need is G-O-D and myself. Peace.